From UC Applications to Volleyball Senior Night, we, we got the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Edith Mendoza. And I'm Angeli Brozo. And today is November 3rd, 2015. Moving on to sports, volleyball will be playing today against Savannah, and it's very important that you guys go to the game because it is their senior night. Other than it being senior night, the girls have a chance to win Orange League champs, so make sure to come and support. Also, congratulations, girls, into making CIF in your seventh winning streak. This Thursday will also be football's last game against Catella at the Glover Stadium, and it will be away, but still, go and support the guys. If you are interested in the legal system and want to know what it is like serving on a jury, Peer Court is a great opportunity for you. It will be this Wednesday, November 4th, in our library right after school. And if you guys are interested, you must sign up with Mr. Overson in room 5201. This is also a great opportunity for those seniors that still need the service hours. You will be earning two hours of community service, so make sure to sign up ASAP. And don't forget, seniors, that university late nights have started. Engage 360 team has, is here to help you with CSU and UC applications. They are here on Mondays from 1 through 4 p.m. in the higher ed or Tuesdays through Fridays from 3 to 7, also in the higher ed center. Yes. And if you guys are still wondering if there is going to be a Sadie's, there is, and it's going to be on February 13th, the day after, before Valentine's Day. So make sure, ladies, to start thinking about that special proposal. Before we talk about future events, how was your Halloween, Velma? I see what you did there. It was it was actually pretty fun. Um, I got to go to the maze that was that our very own drama had made, and we have a short video on how Robert's experience went. Ooh, roll the clips. Good morning, Centurion. So we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the interviews, so we're just gonna show you some clips of the maze. So check it out. Oh God. <laughs> That's all I have for you today of the drama maze. If you didn't get to see it this time, make sure to catch it next year. Until next time, Centurions. Bye. Oh, okay, so that wasn't Robert Edith. That was the other Edith. All right, all right. But that looked like fun, honestly. I was too scared to go inside. I told you to go in, Jelly. Anyways, last week we had Carlos and Cassandra go around asking Centurions how they felt about the officer manhandling the student. Take a look. I'm Carlos Says. I'm here with the Inter School. We're going to go interview some people for the question of the week, which was how the officer managed 
the problem with the teen in South Carolina. Let's go take a look. Uh, what happened in the classroom at South Carolina is really disturbing on many levels. Uh, I thought it was shocking and terrible and it makes me sad. Uh, I'd like to know what happened before that whole incident came down. And I also think it's a terrible thing when... Uh, Being physically removed like that is wrong. Uh, it's really, really hard to comment on it. Um, I actually have seen the story uh, over and over on the news. I know that it had to do with cell phones and texting and she wouldn't surrender the phone. Again, it shouldn't have uh, escalated to that. Um, I know with my own children, I always tell them not to argue with a police officer. You will have your day in court. Uh, you okay. Uh, my opinion on the officer that slammed the girl on the floor was he could have managed it a little bit different. Um, even though how bad she was being or anything, uh, he could have approached it in a little bit different way. I, I think it's a wrong way. Well, I feel that he, the cop went too far just to take the phone away and he shouldn't be dragging a girl across the floor, especially how he did it. And it was good that he got fired from his job. It was... It was an excess use of force. There was no need to do that because uh, the girl was just young and there was no need to throw her across just for a phone. There should be other reasons not to do that. So that was very bad. Old, I think it's ridiculous and insane that a police officer can have the right to do that and not be reprimanded for it. Um, as a mom, I'd go crazy if I found out my kid was treated that way, regardless of the situation, if they were resisting arrest or not. If the child was so passive, those type of means should not have been taken at all, ever. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys today. Now back to you guys at the studio. Bye. Dude, that, that was intense. That was really intense. But now for the quote of the week. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act but a habit by Aristotle, a Greek philosopher who made significant and lasting contributions to human knowledge. Yes, and again, don't forget to go to the volleyball game today. Be there, be square. Whatever, whatever I don't know what that means. But yeah. It means that you'll be lame, Jelly. Okay, I don't know. Well, I believe that is all we have for y'all today. And just remember, kids, don't, don't be scared. scared. Bye. Bye.